<laughs> hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Hey Jots, how you doing? Welcome back, day 58 of the Racing Marathon. How you guys doing? Why was it removed from sale? The licenses run out all the time, guys. When the license runs out, the game is gone. Yeah. So there's the like the major part of the game, Drive Club Tour, which is fun enough, but even better, even better is the DLC. So Drive Club was actually the reason why I bought a PlayStation 4 in the first place. Most impressive thing for this game was definitely the graphics. The game just managed to be looking so damn amazing. Obviously, every single car has a fully featured uh, cockpit camera. And handling just feels right, you know? If I had to put it in one word, it just feels right. You know, this this game for me is like one of the most ultimate uh, simcades out there. One of my absolute favorite video games out there. There's just so much love in this game. I remember one specific line that the developers mentioned about this game. Cars are hard to drive, but definitely not as hard to drive as a lot of games make it out to be. You know, they basically criticized that so many, especially simcade games out there, made the cars way too slippery and just not grippy enough. And over-exaggerated, you know, the amount of precision needed to control your traction, you know. For example, in this game I do play with traction control off, ABS off, because it's very manageable in my opinion. A patch for 60 FPS, man, that would be such a nice PlayStation 5 upgrade. <laughs> or even for the PlayStation 4 Pro, a 60 FPS patch. I would have loved that so much. This is one of the hidden gems that so many people didn't know about. One of the major issues this game had, Sony kind of promised this game for free. So people were not buying it initially because they were like, ah, if we're gonna wait a little bit, the game's gonna be out for free. Everyone was waiting for the PlayStation Plus version. Sony wasn't willing to pay the developers the price for it. So it took the team forever to bring out like a PlayStation Plus version, which was a, you know, stripped down version of the game, which didn't have all of the content. The idea was to have a PlayStation Plus version that features a lot, but not everything of the game, to incentivize people to buy the full game. But it took them way too long to actually bring out the PlayStation Plus version. Oh yeah, true. Every time you get into a car, you get this in uh, this animation. We actually get into the car. I gotta say, this is one of the games that really captured... Where's the handbrake? Uh, that really captured what the driving should be all about. And one thing that I just love, it's not just the graphics. Obviously, the game looks amazing and that's a great feature. But it's just the tracks that they made for the game are fantastic. They, they look great and they're really fun to drive on. On the fucking Civic. Four cylinder turbos. And so on the right hand side you see like all the necessary stats. And in all the units, so you're gonna be you're you're covered, right? You have brake horsepower, regular horsepower, nuke meters. It was one of the games where I actually spent a lot of time getting really good times. Kinda like Trickmania, you just redo the event over and over again until you're really good at it. Alright, let, let me show you some DLC. DLC has the best cars and a bunch of new tracks. Well, um, the tracks for the DLC were actually free, so everyone got access to the new tracks in multiplayer. Just some cars were exclusive to the DLC. I think one thing they nailed so good is the colors and the lighting in this game. Like, everything looks so damn good. So, in drift events, there are speed zones and there are drift zones. You want to be drifting through the drift zone. And then you want to be fast in the speed zone. We want to get a good mix of speed and actually drifting. That is how the game basically forces you to drift properly and drive properly. Because you do need some speed. I, I stole Black Panther's car. <laughs> the only way to get to the DLC nowadays is to, is to buy a jailbroken PlayStation 4. If you have a jailbroken PlayStation 4, yeah, then you can get access to the DLC. If not, you gotta have someone's someone's account. Yeah, DLC and the game is everything is offline. You can't get it anymore. Nice. <laughs> 
I have not I have not found another game yet like this. This to me is still the most immersive racing game I've, I've ever played. So yeah, if you ever wanted a game where you drive in Japanese locations, this is the game for you. Everyone that's always asking for Japan, here, this is Japan. There's a bunch of Japan in this game. Man, imagine what the developers of Evolution Studios could have done as a PlayStation 5 release game. You know, considering what they pulled off with this game on the PlayStation 4, I can only imagine how beautiful their game would have been on a PlayStation 5. Also in this game there was a bit of a gentleman's agreement in my opinion, because online there was very little ramming. When I think back to my online experience in this game, it was good. The game is super immersive if you sit in the car and turn off the HUD, because then the real graphics are really hitting you, you know what I mean? It really hits you how good this game looks. You know, usually I'm not a graphics whore, but if a game comes out that looks as good as this one, I become one. Oh, you wanna know you wanna know a fun fact? Like the developers were so much in touch with the community. Every single image you see here is a picture a player made. They used in-game photo modes to create these. And that is how much they were in touch with the community on this game. Another reason why I really love them. Jeez! <laughs> I think we got him. We did! Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that backfire. <Ooh. laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. You guys remember? <laughs> you guys want to see a stupid car? The Peugeot X1 concept. I, I, I must not underestimate it because it's actually quite grippy. So, you know, it's basically like a double bike. You know, online I really enjoyed using the extra grippy cars. Because most of the time you could beat people just by getting the corners better than them. So while it might not, might not have been you know, the very fastest time trial car, usually just having a little bit more grip than the opponents would help you out a lot playing online. And on some tracks I was more confident so I was able to pick the fast cars and then win anyways. Love multiplayer in this game. I love the track variety, there's just so much to race on. And honestly there isn't a single track in the game that I hate. Obviously there are some tracks that I like more than others. But I don't think there's a single track that I hate. Yeah, honestly, I like this so much more than an open world. If you have tracks all around the world, that is so much better than having a single open world. That is so restrictive in comparison. I would rather be sent all around the world to all kinds of locations. It's so much better in my opinion. So much better. <laughs> <laughs> Slam down the throttle. <laughs> I mean, look at this track design, man. Just look where the roads, they're winding up and down, twisting, turning, love it. Track design this game is so damn good. How is it possible that the seven-year-old game is the best game we have? Honestly, I don't know. It boggles my mind too. Like seven years ago, they created the best looking racing game ever. And it hasn't been topped ever since. And also they love the detail, like getting to every single car the game has. Ray tracing, 4K, 60fps, like you could make this look even better. If that game was on PlayStation 5, it would be insane. I wonder, I wonder what Gran Turismo 7 is gonna do, I agree. Yeah, I gotta, gotta be a little bit mad at the racing game industry that the best looking game is all the way from 2014. You know, one thing that Drive Club nailed is the lighting. That is really what makes it look so much better. It is the lighting. It looks like it looks realistic even without ray tracing bullshit. Yeah, this game did not age at all, yeah. Like if you would release this game with 60 FPS, it would be a PlayStation 5 title. Like no problems whatsoever. Just release this game on 60 FPS, boom, PlayStation 5 bang. Make this 4K 60, GG. Alright, let's call it a stream, Draft Club. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play a second stream of this during the marathon. Because it's so good. Yes, sub ended. Well, you can always resub, man. There's the button. Do it! Hit the sub. Get on the blacklist. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Sleep tight. Definitely come back tomorrow. And good night.